Yo, what up, though? It's your boy, DME. All right, boys, let's get into this. This is, I can never, I'm a righty, I'm a righty. What do you want from me? Anyways, all right. So, New Jersey twerk, all right. Ace Amin, Ultimate Madness, all right. The, 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 the ridiculous, the ridiculousness as, as uh, of, of the cover up, the holding of the hand of the Golden Boys, the battle rappers, there's certain media out here. All right, this is getting insane. Everyone's like, "Do you me? You gotta address this. You gotta address this. You're the you're the twerky guy." Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. All right. <laughs> Anyways, and uh, yeah, we're gonna address it because it is absolutely insane. It's absolutely ridiculous, and it's the reason why this keeps happening over and over and over and over and over again. And I blame the Goonies. The Goonies. They again, New Jersey twerks are Goonies, not NWX. Asa means a Goonie. He's not whatever the heck he thinks he is. All right, these guys are goonies. Jack Boy's a goonie. All right, Rod is a goonie. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that they broke up. It's ridiculous. All right, they might as well get back together. All right, and continue their their reign of terror on the battle rap community as far as being trash. All right, because it's it's really ridiculous. So you got people like uh, Calico and I guess knowledge. Well, knowledge does a blog talking about Twerky One. And then had to backtrack because he got like 10,000 dislikes on his video and people were killing him. The fact that he's a judge is insane. People are like, how are you a judge when you had Twerk winning the battle when Twerk knows he lost the battle? So anyways, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here because of this. <coughs> Corrupt. No, all right. So here's this. All right. Salute. To, uh, so I want y'all to check out homegirl here. Battle Rap Bay is her name. Let me see. Let me show you real quick before we get into this. Just so you see. There she is. Battle Rap Bay. She only got 143 subscribers, all right? But um, she was at the event. She was at the event, and I really, really rock with this breakdown that she gives. She uh, she gave a really good breakdown here. So, um, so what did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just do? I can always do with stupid stuff. You got to just do this, do me, and then you do this, and then we're good. Okay. So Battle Rap Bay, check her out. Um, get her subscriber count. Let's get her to 200. Why not? All right, salute. She was there, and she gives some very interesting takes on what happened backstage. And it's what I've been telling y'all. Y'all don't be listening to me. They be babying these dudes, bro. Ace Amin and Twerk, they be babying these dudes. Ace should be suspended. Twerk should be suspended as far as I'm concerned. Let's take a quick listen. We're not going to watch the whole video. We're going to hear some We're gonna hit some hot points here. Hey, y'all. Battle Red Bay here. Let's talk bars. Okay, so <clears throat> Ultimate Madness, the semifinals, went down today. And, whoa, it was quite the event. Now, I want to say that the energy was off from the start behind the scenes. Production was screaming and people were getting herded out of the main area where everything was taking place. Seemed like there was some concern about people getting sick due to the huge turnout and the coronavirus. Um, Season two. Everybody was in the building. Everybody. Like, in comparison to last week... Last week was um, thick, but it wasn't too many people there. Even this week, I don't feel like there were too many people there. It was just about two or three times the amount of people. And for Twerk. For Twerk. So he has, a, he has a crowd. The same thing happened on the rooftop, and the same thing happened here. So Twerk has a crowd. They use the whole, well, we're doing the Ultimate Madness 2 uh, picking and everyone. Like, you didn't have to have everybody in the building for that. You didn't have to do that. You had Danny Myers and Emerson zoom in. All right. So, you know. <laughs> In the building this week um but i got to see a couple of my faves tay rock was there sue surf was there um right, well, we busy was doing the most to be honest but i'm staying on that part. within their time limit or time frame that they had a lot to get this done and you know just executing the shit. and i respect that so shout out to um to smack um seemed like the energy in the room took an obvious turn when people started moving funny in the venue um now i'm watching this and I'm like, what in the world is going on? You see people whispering and moving fast. And you know, our people, we don't ask questions. Niggas get to moving and we get to moving instinctively. It's just like ingrained in us. Oh, you run, I run, you move this way. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It was that type of thing. Um, so in the process of all of that, it happened to come out. Now y'all know I'm not one to gossip. So you ain't heard nothing from me, but I'm gonna just say what happened to be said. You know, when you take this, how you want to take it, put gotcha, it together, gotcha. how you can put it together. But anyway. I'm one to gossip. So tell me about it. All right, Battle Rap Bay, and I got you, all right? I'll, I will drop the news. I don't care. You tell me something, I will drop it, all right, if it's legit, because 
you know, I don't give, I don't, I don't care about any anybody in the as far as protecting anybody or, or I have no relationships with anybody. Just, I got you. Okay. It came out that John, John, and Ace Amin had some type of altercation outside. Yes. Now let's let's give a little backstory to that. Ace Amin has literally been calling John, John a whore. You're a whore. You're a whore. Whore, whore, whore. He went on hip hop as well, calling him a whore. John John's literally on true. I don't know what this dude's problem is. What is his problem? Why is he so mad at me? He's so mad. I've said nothing to him. I got, I don't know what his deal is. All right. And Ace took, Ace went from no issue to, to street issues off rip, off of rip. He went, he said, this is not battle rap related. This is a, a street related. All right. He's a whore. He's a whore. He's a whore. All right. So John John's like, all right, you got you got you obviously have a problem with me for no reason. I'm a grown man and you're out here on hip hop is real. You're on camera. You're on everywhere. Calling me this, calling me that, talking about you're going to do this and that to me because obviously 10 years in prison, Ace to learn nothing. Apparently. And this is oh, DME. How you can't be like that. Don't be saying he didn't learn nothing. I can't tell. I can't tell. When you act like that, when you cause problems, when you cause beef for no reason, when you take it street for no reason, you know what could happen. You know it could escalate, and you know you can get back in trouble, all right? And you can back get back to where you were, where you don't want to be. You know that. So why would you continue to put yourself in those positions? So don't give me that. Don't give me that. Well, alleged. John John showed up. Good. And there was some words exchanged between John John and Ace Hameen. And the Don allegedly let it be known that he had that fire on him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, John, John, calm down. Why? Why are you doing that? But I look, I get, I get that he showed up and he, he got like, but, but uh, <laughs> Ace took it to a level that, that this is what, this is exactly why. This is exactly why. And you, this, you bring this to the caffeine situation. All right, we, we're talking about this is corporate now. URL's corporate URL now. Corporate smack, corporate breezy, corp, corporate P, corporate Chico. Okay, well, they're corporate now. All right, and this is, and you guys are bringing this element into the corporate world. This will not last. That's why I said this caffeine, this caffeine deal will not last forever, especially the way these battle rappers act and the way that smacking them, they don't control the situation. They don't demand respect. You have to demand respect. Anyone who comes with that nonsense to my, if I own that, anyone comes with that nonsense to my event will never touch the stage again. Will be suspended for months at minimum. And watch it will never happen again. Trust me, it will never happen again if Smack demanded that respect. You don't need anybody, bro. Smack URL is the brand at this point. All right, none of these. Let let them go here. Let them go there. What does it matter? Start cultivating new talent. He won't fuck around. That itself caused the uproar outside of the building. Of course. Ace pushed off, and John John got low. Now, what I couldn't understand was why did John John even show up to begin with? I get that everybody was there, but like to come from Atlanta to North Carolina. Ace has been running his mouth. Ace has been Ace has literally been running his mouth over and over again. Now, if I was John John, I would not have shown up. All right, I would not have shown up. All right, I don't think that this is the time nor, nor the place. But maybe I mean, I mean, this is still Ace. This is still Ace's fault. All right, you don't you don't run your mouth like that on camp over and over and over and over again, and people know where you're gonna be. All right, and think nothing's gonna happen. Come on, bro. All right, yeah, the, the real life at, at some point has to click in. Just to do some more stupid shit like that, I really couldn't understand. So I was just like, what, John John? What are you doing? Why do you come inside and enjoy the event? Why would you, why would you do that? How could he come inside and enjoy the event when Ace is there making it known that he has a huge problem with John John and Ace is there? So John John comes in, Ace is already are in his feelings and 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 he acts like a big tough guy. All right, like you saw what he did with Fonz, bro. He's on his tippy toes, bro. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Fonz? What you gonna do? Uh, I'll snap you in half, bro. I'll clap you in a coma, bro. Uh, shut up! You clapping nothing, bro. Midget. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, that's not PC. Shut up! I think I care about PC. <laughs> but apparently, this all stems from Ace Amin taking shots at John John. And I guess... John John got fed up with the bullshit and was like, yo, you trying to battle? And that didn't go over too well. But whatever, in the building, everybody was talking about it. Like, 
everybody. I'm getting the tea from everybody. And there's a lot more that could be said, but I'm a bunch of know, nosies. That's how you do. Um, but in the midst of all of this, the Jay the Nightwing and Rubando battle went down. Now, Jay clearly got the first. He nah, was snapping. Okay. My face looks so oily. Rubando chose. So even though Jay the Nightwing's third round was expected and unprepared, That's twerk. Like he already wasn't ready. Right, Swamp go. Town was dead with him because Swamp Town was in. There was a little issue about was coaxed into the venue. I don't know. I just gave him the battle. Here we go. Listen to this. Now, you are yelling caffeine Listen. through Jay Black up to do some Listen comments. to this twerk situation. So, you got Ace Ami and Aguni. All right. Yeah, John John might have been the one who started it because he showed up, but Ace Ami started it with all his all the way he's been talking about John John for, for weeks now. For weeks. Now, here we go with Twerky. Commentary while Twerk was coaxed into the venue. For whatever reason, he. Twerk was coaxed, coaxed, co coaxed. Like they had to tr get, get him into listen. He didn't want to come in. There was a little issue about how many people Swamp had with him because Swamp Town was deep, and I think that negatively affected an unprepared twerk. Like he already wasn't ready. He God forbid somebody besides twerk is in deep. Every single time he's got the Goonies with him, he's got this with him, he's got hundred deep, this and that, all the gas, all the battle rappers, everything. So the one time. His opponent actually has him matched up, and he has a meltdown. He can't handle it. He doesn't know what to do, and listen to this. Duck Swamp last week, and there was no ducking him today after that intense face-off yesterday. When Twerk didn't show until the end of the event, I instinctively knew it was because he wasn't prepared and was just trying to find a way out of She's the battle. Smart. But that ended She's up not smart. happening, and he came through. Like I said, there was some issues about how many people Swamp had with him. Um, They had to cut that down. And only allow like four people to the uh into the main room with Swamp and the same amount for a twerk, which still didn't end up helping. Um the battle started with Swamp up first and he came out aggressive as expected. Yeah, um So basically they had to uh uh twerk twerk let him know that look, there's too many people in here, they took care of the situation and, and Swamp couldn't get all his people in there. All right, because Twerk was crying and had a meltdown and didn't want all his people to be in there. This is what I'm talking about. In freaking sane. URL, you will do anything for this guy, bro. And I don't understand it, bro. I don't understand it. You guys will bend over backwards for twerk. It's been going on for years. If you watch my channel, you know this. I have been documenting every people. See, a lot of people are brand new. A lot of people don't be following this. They don't really know. All right. If you've been following it like me, if you've been covering it like me and, and I've been getting the hate for three freaking years. Do you mean do you mean why are you always bringing it up? Why are you always talking about it? What do you mean? If it was anybody else, I would talk about it. If anyone else had a record like this, a track record like this. All right. Who was in the spotlight like this? Well, other battlers do, but they're not in a spotlight like this. You're talking about little low level leagues. All right. We're talking about one of the biggest battle rappers on URL. The biggest ticket seller, you guys tell me. The biggest draw could be the greatest of all time. Of course, he's going to get more of the attention, bro. No other biggest of all time, biggest ticket seller battle rapper does this on a consistent basis for three freaking years. I just pulled up old blogs from two and a half years ago. Twerk choke, twerk being unprofessional, twerk stealing deposits, twerk not showing up, twerk doing this, twerk doing that. From two years ago, a year ago, year and a half ago, six months ago. This is insane. And then he goes and apologizes on Twitter, my bad, bro. And everybody feels sorry for him. Saga feels sorry for him. Don't, oh, people kicking you while you're down just shows their character, not yours. Of all the people you're going to say that to, Saga, to twerk. The guy kicks people down all the time. He's been trashing Swamp for no reason. All right? For no reason. Saying he's trash. I'm not on some battle rap stuff. He's just garbage, bro. Why y'all like him? Why y'all pushing him? You don't think Twerk would would, 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 would kick someone down if, if he didn't like them? If Twerk doesn't like you, he's kicking you down. He's, he's go Bro, what are you guys talking about? Calico making excuses for him. This is ridiculous, man. Even I saw John John making excuses for him. Tons of battle rappers. I think Loso said something. Like, it's just ridiculous. Twerk choked in the first. We know. We know. Swamp ended his rounds kind of light, but still did enough to edge each round, in my opinion. I think that's all the drama. Clearly choking. Like, happened. When he, he didn't come in, when he had to go over his bars a couple more times, just snapped and let everybody know that they handing out upsets and ass whoopings and they putting these vets to bed. And um, Twerk choked the third round and an explosive energy filled the building, the new class. Just snapped and let everybody know that they handing out upsets and ass whoopings right. and they putting these vets to bed. And did. I respect it. I do like the fact that these new niggas are stepping the game up. 
from a swamp to people like Jay, new niggas, or these vets. Okay, now, Ace, Amin, and Fonz went down after most people had already exited the building. It seemed like when Swamp left, all of the energy followed him Good. to the parking lot Good. where me and Bay was able to sit in the Jeep and watch everything. It was truly his day. Like, Swamp was on cloud nine and the nigga earned it. I was here for it. Ace, I mean, choked in glad. the first and the second. He deserved it. And then tried to fight Fonz after choking in the second. And then the sad part to me was, if he would have just got his shit off, he might have been able to win because Fonz ended up choking too. He recovered well, but he did choke. Fonz choked because of the Fonz fight. won that by default and advances to Gnome 10. Gnome 10 is going down July 11th in LA. And I'm excited to see Jay the Nightwing versus Fonz. Um, they've got two different styles. I really think it would be dope if Jay the Nightwing got a second round against Ace Amin and he was just like, fuck it. So to see him be able to redeem himself and advance. So yeah, I just, I want you to go check her out, man. Let's get her out. Let's get her to 200 subscribers at least. Tell her DM me, tell her DM me, sent me. All right, salute to Battle Rap Bay. All right, definitely, a, that's a great recap, bro. I mean, she couldn't have done it any better than me. All right, like, like, I mean, she was in the building and she broke it down. She definitely knows how to, how to break things down and talk about battle rap. So salute to her, man. All right, I'm a fan. I subscribe. I subscribe. I'm one of the 143, bae. You no, know 143 means right. I love you. 143. That used to be the beeper text. We, yeah, yeah, I'm not. I know I'm old. I'm old. It's all right. We still love you. Salute to battle rap, bae, man. So there it is. So there you have it, right? You got. You got you got uh, uh, Ace and John John. You got uh, Twerky all upset about uh, Swamp's entourage. All right, all this ridiculousness. All right, people backstage are fed up. All right, every all right, Smack's fed up. But you, bro, again, you got to command respect. And when you're out on hip hop, it's real talking about New Jersey Twerk books whatever battle he wants. Yeah, that's what he said. New Jersey Twerk books whatever he wants. Whatever he wants, just let me know, and it's booked. And it's booked. That's what Smack said. On hip hop is real. <clears throat> Granted, it was before the swamp battle, but he had no business saying that. <coughs> even leading up, <coughs> I'm dying. Even leading up to the swamp battle, all right. After what he just did against Geechee, getting body back by Keishon, getting body by Emerson, all right. Coming to Calico battle with no third round, all right, and just quitting the round, um, and doing this over and over and over and over and over and over. When is enough? Is enough? Is never enough? So let me know what y'all think, man. And you battle rappers, bro, you guys are insane. The fact that B dot, I seen B dot, you know, uh, a bat, you know, and you're gonna battle twerk, bro. Like you've already killed this battle for me. If it's gonna happen, it should not happen. One thousand percent should not happen. But you know it's gonna happen. And B dot's already killing the battle for me by taking up for twerk, bro. You should be on twerk's neck about this, bro. Be professional. Do this for the at least to sell the fight, at least to sell the battle. Now you got it. You got me thinking, you know. Oh, like you're gonna be soft on him or something like it's insane, bro. It's insane. Like whatever, bro Whatever like you guys don't know what you're doing man selling fights and this and that man DME Detroit DME New Jersey We sold this fight swamp sold the fight. All right twerk man get get your life right man I don't know what the heck is wrong with you, bro You like you like and now you are every time this happens you want to put you because this is why I call you the Shook Knight of battle rap You're this big giant. All right teddy bear all right, with the soft side to you, but then you then you have this like stupid like like evil side to you, where you you want to act all tough and and all this, but then when when things don't go your way, you want to act all the victim and act all oh you know I'm so sorry and I'm just I'm so I'm shut up. Nobody want to hear that because if you would have body back swamp, you would have been going crazy. Oh, ho, ho, I'm big Jeruz. I'm big Jeruz. We know. We know what you would have been doing. But the fact that you blew it, you blew it. You blew it. All right. Now you want to act like, oh, oh, I need some sympathy and this and that. Crying and crying and crying. Ace, I mean, he got suspended off of Twitter. I don't know why because you kept calling John John a whore. You're a whore. Why are you calling another man a whore? Whore. Is that supposed to be like a, a dig at him? You're a whore. Whore. Like, shut up. Hey, I'm still waiting to get... I'm still waiting for Ace to sue me. Yeah, Ace said he was going to sue me. All right, yeah, we're still waiting. He told me to take his likeness off of my channel, off my thumbnails. I never did. So we're waiting for it. We're waiting, Ace. Love you guys. Stay safe, stay clean. Peace.